Hey, good evening. David here at Scale Models Midwest. Welcome back to the workbench. Hope you're having a great week. As you can see, I got the Lil' John Butera 26 Ford sedan delivery completed. This was a really cool kit. I liked it. I had wanted to build this one for a long time. And then finally jumped at it when I saw one on eBay. Picked it up for a relatively good price and built it. Didn't take too long. I think probably about... 20 hours <clears throat> over the course of a couple weeks but as you can see well detailed it's got knockoffs I did some uh, panel line accent to kind of give it some depth I painted it with testers extreme lacquer in root beer it has a little bit of a metallic sheen to it I had four coats total I had um, three light mist coats one heavy coat and then I had two coats of Extreme Lacquer Clear, and I did not polish it out. I figured this is just gonna be a shelf model, this is just one that I wanted to kind of put together for me to enjoy. I'll probably take it to work, set it at my desk, maybe even just leave it on the shelf, along with some of the other cars I got, and just enjoy it. <clears throat> but uh, overall, it turned out to be a really good build. Um, I only had two issues. One, the decals. For a 20 plus year old kit, and this is the reissue, you can see the decal sheet. Definitely the carrier film is yellowed. And you can see it just a little bit as well on the kit itself. It's dried now for the most part, but you can definitely see the silvering in the decal. Can't really escape that with the uh, older decals. It's okay. I'm not gonna quibble over that. But ultimately, it's a good looking kit chromed jag rear underneath everything went together nice and neat did a little bit of black wash detailing here and there for the interior I did stick with my plan to use a lighter color interior so I've got a Ken's custom fuzzy fur for the seats and the floor and kind of like a sunset orange you can barely see it but I liked it the steering wheel on the dashboard, I used some extra photo etched rings that I had from, believe it or not, that Richard Petty kit. But um, I lost in painting the steering arm, which would normally go right here. I lost it after I painted it. So I went on ahead and got a piece of spare chrome rod, cut it to fit through the dashboard, through the firewall and then attach the steering wheel to that. So uh, no harm, no foul. As you can see, the engine was built box stock, upper and lower radiator hoses in place, uh, two-piece carburetor, and uh, just a little contrast for the air conditioner compressor and the air cleaner. All in all, nice looking kit. If you're building this kit, definitely you'll enjoy it. Um, like I said, it's a good subject, a little John Butera. Uh, had a lot of custom cars from the 70s, early 80s. One kit that I'd like to build eventually, I have not seen but one picture. Uh, unless I go to the Hot Rod Archives, I think I'll find more. But the um, car I'm looking for now, and I'm thinking I'm going to be using that uh, 63 or 64 Nova kit that's out there, I'm going to build the Novette and update it with a different engine and drivetrain. I will most likely use something from Joel Mendoza over at Iceman Collections kind of thinking along the lines of a 572 big block Chevy but um, let's see I've got some ideas for other kits tomorrow I'm gonna to start building another kit not sure if I'm gonna do a slightly detailed one or another quick build but uh, I'll show you tomorrow what I plan on building speaking of builds there is a group build that started on the 15th on the Facebook group I'll Put the correct name in this spot so uh just a reminder of myself as i'm editing the video i think it's called the us gcc it's basically a lot of content creators that do model kits like um i believe lucas c model car videos um hobby do 007 mark batson himself time machine models um bg a lot of them out there it's on facebook I think Mark Batson this year came up with the choice of kits. This year he chose a 70 
Plymouth Roadrunner or a 70 GTX. There are quite a few kits out there uh, on the secondary market. It's out of production from what I understand, but I remember having built this kit a number of years back, and I'm going to show you my kit. It is not going to be part of the group build. I just wanted to show you what I had because I am going to sit this one out. I'm just going to be excited watching other people build their kits and kind of give you an idea on what I would do if I could. Um, when I looked at eBay, this particular kit, the Roadrunner or the GTX, in any of its iterations are averaging about $59.99 to $79.99, unbuilt, wrapped or unwrapped. Um, and yeah, I, I would love to build another one of these. I've got an idea in my mind what I would do, but uh, really excited to see. I think Mark Batson is going to do a, well, go look at his video. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Go check out HobbyDo007 and watch what he wants to build and look at the other ones and see what they have in mind. But let me show you what I already built. This here, I built about, I'm gonna say about 15 years ago. And, uh, I love it. It's one of my favorite kits on my shelf of all time. This was on display for almost a year at Great Hobby Adventures in West Des Moines. Uh, the owners there, these two guys were super cool about the hobby, super cool about all hobbies in general, and they've closed the shop since a good number of years back. But they were great guys. They, they let people build kits and bring them in. They had a little car club too, and uh, I was so happy to buy kits from them, support the local business always and then display them when we were done. Um, so yeah, this was it. Painted in Panther Pink. Underneath, as you can see, I did the overspray, typical car of Cars of the Era. I had disc brakes and all around. I used aftermarket tires and rims from Pegasus. And one of my standard, I like light colored interiors. So as you can see here, I did that white with black and then I used bare metal foil for the chrome trim. Sorry it's a little on the dusty side. I just pulled it off the shelf before I started recording the video. But I like this kit and I hope you like it too. And then check out the motivation. 446 pack. Got the wiring on it. I do have the air cleaner for it uh, sitting off on the side but um, I just want to show you here. Tried to make it close to prototypically correct with the Chrysler orange block and then of course the carbs pre-wired distributor yeah I I like it it it's a sharp kit so again I'm looking forward to see what all everybody else builds um, what would I do if I could build this kit again well if I didn't have my heart set on trying to buy a California street vet which is one of my ultimate all-time unicorn kits to buy which is about the same price if not more expensive than this kit currently for this one i would go with a pro touring style um i would i would do it i think in uh fast and furious 8 or 9 or fast and furious 27 whatever movie it was in letty drives one of these i believe so what would i do with this kit if i could build it again well some people have already had some ideas that I would, too. I would go all business, but I would do a pro touring. Uh, at least one would be pro touring. It would be all black. Matte black, ghost stripes. I would probably, I wouldn't even do stripes down the center. I would do kind of like an asymmetrical stripe. Maybe down the right side of the car, including the top. Then again, I've always wanted to give my thought to doing a vinyl top. Pro Touring style again, matte black, black vinyl top, and then for the engine, I would cut out all of that plastic, tube frame it, and then add a Hellcat. I think Joel Mendoza at Iceman Collections has a Hellcat engine that would fit between the frame rails here really well, but that's what I would do, and uh, put some aftermarket tires and wheels on it. That would give it a good pro touring setup and then call it a day now that's one the second build would be even more sinister um watching the new movie the batman with robert pattinson the dodge charger-esque batmobile is wicked i love it i think it's great 
I think it's the best Batmobile since the original. I've seen Chris from HPI Guys build that kit. There's another YouTuber who's built that kit as well with paint detail and they look sharp. The kit is from Bandai. It's out there. I would take that kit and this kit and combine the parts. Obviously you'd have to cut this one in half and then serious surgery at that point. The rear end, I would take out the back balance, the trunk lid, and I would adapt the uh, rear end of the Batmobile and of course that engine. Then I don't know about I don't know about the drivetrain, well, the tires and rims. Would I use the ones that come with the Bandai kit? I don't know. I kind of had a thought to use the off-road suspension or set up an off-road suspension similar to that in Dom's Charger from one of the Fast and Furious movies where they all go out of a plane and they parachute to the ground. That Dodge Charger is what I'm thinking about. Kind of like a pre-runner look. But if you're splitting the car in half, I would adapt the top of the Charger part to this kit. I would adapt the front end's hood and of course the grill. I don't necessarily want to use the grill from the Bandai piece, but I would still somehow adapt this grill to make it look like a Roadrunner instead of a Charger. But that would be my thought. So those of you who are doing this build, if you want to do that, have at it. I just think it'd be a wicked kit. So with that, I'll show you tomorrow what I plan to build for my next kit. But uh, for now, I'm going to get this upstairs, post the video. You guys have yourselves a great night. Take care.